as you can see on the uh, left hand side of the board, we know how to deal with log functions that have a base of A. Those are the nice, nice and tidy ones. But we can deal with them with other bases if we like. We just convert to base E and then off you go. Okay? However, sometimes a question, unlike what's on the board, a question will be kind of ambiguous and they'll just say something like this. Okay? Or of course they'll substitute something else. Instead of just x, they'll have like a whole function in there like 1 minus e dx or whatever you like. Okay? Now, really important that you know this. Let's get another color, shall we? When you see log x and no base is indicated, all of the interesting and elegant and beautiful and simple mathematics, as you can see, happens in base E. This is nice and tidy. He just introduces a constant for the sake of being gross, okay? That's, that's not really the point. Uh, in exactly the same way as when you were learning Pythagoras for the first time, everything was nice and neat. It's like 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, all the nice numbers, okay? I mean, we could put awful numbers, but you don't learn much about Pythagoras. You just get more fun working with decimals. So therefore, when you see this, you should always assume it has base E. Right? If you see it in a test, if you see it in your textbook, you should always assume when there's no base implied, base E is what's being indicated. Except there is one exception. The one exception is, <clears throat> as I asked you to get out a second ago, on this little guy, which is so very inconvenient because you happen to use him quite often, right? on your calculators, you will see a log button with no base implied, right? And on your calculator, the base is 10. Now, <laughs> they try to be helpful, right? So you can see on your calculator, it says um, log, like that, and then right beside it, there's an LN button. So you're like, oh, well, clearly that one is base E. You wouldn't have um, two buttons for the same thing. Never mind the fact that you've got two buttons for a negative sign. But anyway, yeah, that would be unusual. There's actually a reason for that. But, um, why do they do base 10? Um, you can also see, by the way, um, to indicate on your calculator that log by itself is base 10, just look above. Look above the button. Do you see in yellow, it says 10 to the power of, it's an exponential base 10, which is how you know that log button also has base 10. Now, why do they do that? If I just went to, you know, labor the point that base E is the interesting one. Um, the reason why is because this is not a mathematical calculator. To which you would respond, what other kind of calculator is there? And the answer is a scientific calculator. Right? Scientists are very, very interested in base 10. It is, after all, um, the base that we use for our entire number system. And more importantly, there's this little thing called um, <laughs> scientific notation, which is base 10. Okay? So using log base 10 is an easy way to know what's the magnitude of a number. Because remember, it corresponds to that power. So yeah. there's a thing that says base in our calculator. So maybe we can change the so, so some calculators have that. I have to double check because most of them should not. It says base. <laughs> uh, can I see your calculator very briefly? Is that waterproof? Yeah, it's the complex. Yeah, yeah. That one's. Oh, that's that's something else. That's oh, like okay. number base, like hexadecimal, oh. or binary. Oh. Not, not this base. That's cool. It can be like a different like. Oh. So, so just to emphasize, right? Base E is where it's happening. In your textbook, we see all these exercises and we see questions. Uh, in an exam. They're generally pretty nice and they try and take the ambiguity out and they will write log base E of X. If you look at HFCs, that's pretty much the way it is. Um, I write this purely because I'm lazy and it's faster. Um, and being lazy is a key characteristic of mathematicians because we're trying to do things as statistically as possible. So um, now you know, now you know what that means and where it means that. This is just be watchful.